So, playing some stacks today. I've uh, been crushing with rhinos, but you know, I feel like I gotta switch up the content. Um, so, this stacks list is one I found. Uh, it uses just a couple cards I have never even seen Karn Legacy Reforge, which is a five mana creature. Let's see, its power and toughness is equal to the greatest among artifacts you control, so it's at least a five five when it's in play. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to add a colorless for every artifact you control, and it doesn't end, like, you don't lose it, which is kind of sick. Gear Per Ori is a kind of sick card. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, uh, if the player contains no cards in hand, draw three cards. Uh, and then you can play additional land. We dump our hands, so it's a nice way to guess up. Uh, and then it also combos with, oops, what did I just do? Not a lot of stuff. Um, it combos with Bottle Cloister. At the beginning of uh, each opponent's upkeep, you exile your cards face down, and at the beginning you return them, um, and then you draw an additional card. So what you do is you stack them in a way that uh, you have no cards, so or already draws three, then you get your hand back, draw another one, so you always get to trigger it. And then Monument to Perfection, which is a pretty cool card. Three mana, search your library for a basic, a sphere, or a locust, reveal it and put it into your hand. So it's a way to just guarantee you always have land drops. Um... The rest of it's all standard stuff, Sphere, Chalice, Tangle Wire, Car, and Lodestone. Um, so, and then your sideboards, all your tutors, Ley Lines, and Emrakul. So, let's rock and roll and see how it spot, you know. It'd be like one or the other. So you're, you're sort of leveraging that gear per Ori card rather than uh, just like the one ring. It seems, I, I found this list, um... I hate when it like I normally just download it like a couple days before. I found an MTG top eight. Oh, it's a ugh, fucking bottle deck. Super interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's Acast. Okay, Acast. Uh, Lodestone doesn't do shit. This would be an Emery, right? Oh, it's Brains. Oh, is it like? Uh, oh, it must be a Storm deck then. Maybe like a Relay deck. If this is a Relay deck and they don't have a turn one, we're in great shape, I think. Again, we we like win the game if you win the die roll. So bad beats on that. Uh, for this, we'll probably just bring in. Um, what does this do? They brainstormed, so they really have to hit like a nut a nut card here. All right, they didn't. Cool. Let's just top deck a Karn and call it GG. Not a Karn. All right, so. We're definitely just going to run the Lodestone out because it's also a clock. And it looks like they dumped all their artifact mana, so. And it attacks, right? There's a four turn clock. Pretty good match. Pretty good matchup. Oh my god, Tangle Wire is actually kind of insane. Uh, but I think we'll have to we'll have to skip it for one turn. We'll have to go Sphere, Copy. Because we'll have to yeah, we won't be able to untap anything good. All right, good luck, have fun, huh? Okay. <laughs> I eat, all right, let's see if there's anything we can cut for the ley lines. Um, I just want something that can, uh, yeah, like, like having a, a helm. I'm going to bring a helm in because Karn will typically win on its own. So, like, I don't want a Karn for the helm. I'd rather just have it main. But Smokestack seems super slow versus Storm deck. We really need that interaction. And Orbery is kind of slow as well. I mean, I think this is going to be very difficult in the draw and, like, pretty easy on the play. So, let's see if my, we can cut a cru Crucible. Crucible is another one of those really slow cards. Let's see it. Opponents, players can't pay life. 
to activate spells. The like cast spells are activate spells. I really want to like fetch lands for them, I guess. We could have uh, one spyglass, I guess, to name um, which call talisman. Let's try it. Like I said, I think we're pretty beat up on the on the draw. We need them to the uh, mulligan, I guess, and go for like just try to get like a wish claw down or a relay where our turn one sphere will do something. Chalice is okay. Chalice is not as good as a sphere. Um, we run so much that I think we can mull. Here's a sphere with one land in our 26 land deck. We, this is like the, the double loadstone and this. Uh, we can't play something turn one, so I don't think we can keep it. Wow, we're just not drawing anything to play on turn one. I'm going to mull again. Again, we do have 26 lands, so it's pretty unlikely that we keep get. I mean, we, we, we do keep getting two landers, but. Wow, this is really bad. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep this and try to uh, high roll. I mean, what's the worst case? They go like. Yeah. So we're just going to run this out on zero, so we have some type of interaction. Any top deck LEDs are now off, which is a big deal. And again, 20, we're drawing a 24 land since I bottomed one. What do we mold the three this game? Yeah, mold the three. uh excellent but again like if this is any of the cards that i cited out it would be equally bad so it's not too big of a deal the only decision i could have made was like bottom sphere or chalice and keep the glimmer post but that gave me nothing to play on turn one which is the whole point of mulling the three but maybe i should have like bit the bullet realized it wasn't going to pay off They're getting green, so this is symbolizing an abrupt decay. Yeah, crucible. The crucible is even worse, so I'm probably gonna cut the crucible on the play and just have another sphere. Uh, just supposed to be another spyglass. Oh, song of creation. Nice, love this card. The thing is, they can't do anything here. I don't know if they're going to realize they could, because they played a land, right? Oh, they can play one more land. Yeah, they can play one more land. So they can go off with one mana here. Like, if they get all, like, Dark Ritz and Wish Claw Talismans, they can win. Definitely can win, but they'll need, like, like which is obviously possible. I love Song of Creation, though. Like this is where the this is why we wanted the sphere, you know. But I guess look at the zeros. Oh, they're gonna go for right of flame. Okay. Oh, they're just discarding their whole hand. Okay, and we bricked on a land drop. Discarded two burning wishes and a consigned to oblivion. Okay. Kind of insane that they whiffed. Kind of insane we missed our land. I mean, I know what they're thinking about. <laughs> You're going to discard our end of third, you might as well. Just, uh, you know, go for it. Like, this is very realistic that they just win here. We kept, uh, you know, the one lander and obviously got majorly punished.
decay, it looks like. Okay. Took long enough, but uh, I'm just going to see more of their deck. Because they're probably just running some Brian Cook deck, it looks like. Uh, they got rid of one Beseech and two Burning Wishes, so they still have two Burning Wishes in the deck they could find. But this is why you want the Spheres. Spheres is so much better than Chalice in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, like, exactly. Like, we drew badly, then they drew badly, and then we drew bad. Like, it was just, like, whoever drew that one card first, and then it was them. They cast a Burning Wish? Oh, they're gonna... Echo, okay. What? This is weird. What was in their hand that they discarded? What the fuck? So I see his relay, tendril. Oh my god, yeah, too bad. Um I mean I'm gonna play this into into this just because if they echo I don't wanna redraw this. If that makes sense. There should probably be an Urborg in the deck if you have Leyland, by the way. I don't think there is. I have to check that. I didn't like look at the mana that, that intently. Right, there's no Urborg yet. I'd probably run more. I guess you have Miko Synth Gardens. Which you could filter nowadays, so that's not so bad. Right, we'll just F6 here. They drew a Dark Ritual, okay, which is like the only thing in their deck that nets mana. They have not drawn one in this game, so that makes sense. It would be pretty bad if they get the Chain Dark Rits into Echo. I really wanted them just to like brick for one draw step and have to tap out. Like if they had to tap out for the uh, Echo, it would probably be a lot better for us. It was, like another, it was like one of the reasons you bring Leyline in. You just have so many dead cards. So yeah, I'll probably cut the other, the other crucible. Bring in the Ori. Though I can cut the Spyglass now, I think. Even though I wasn't, I was gonna bring Spyglass in just to try to hit a fetch, but I haven't even seen one Wish Claw yet, and we're pretty late into this. Or resolves. Double ley line, you say? How how lucky of me! They do get to play two land drops with this, by the way. It is relevant. They just fail to find. Nice mana base. <laughs> if we if we win this. This is gonna be the most <laughs> this is the stupidest fucking win ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's really gonna be so fucking dumb if we win this. I think we're. I don't want to jinx me, but I think we're actually gonna win this. I mean, it's looking very good. We do have to rip. Uh, I mean, they're gonna discard their whole hand, though, right? Like. Your turn.
They, do, they can play one decay here. Yep. If I draw a wasteland and get rid of their other green, be pretty good. Can this find a land? What land is left in their deck? A basic swamp, maybe? Glimmer post. I can actually just try to like mill them out. <laughs> I could just go for like a fair mill plan, like while they're comboing, maybe. <laughs> it would be pretty funny. They drew a land, kind of funny. That's really funny. LA is actually a good card because they can do something like cast Dark Ritual, hold priority before the draws, and crack this, which is like one of the only ways they can like get through the sort of this effect. <laughs> what a ridiculous game this has turned out to be. We mulled the three. This is, this is a mulligan to three, by the way. I don't think we're going to time out. Up oh, 10 minutes on clock. Red of Flame costs three. Yeah. I'm gonna guess they have a Red of Flame here, or Dark Red. Yeah. Mm. Just say go. Okay. How much can I mill for, by the way? Let's just note that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can mill for eight currently, which may come up. They're exiling a Rite of Flame, which is interesting. These LEDs or something, huh? My life total is quite low. No, it's, I mean, it's free to use. I can always one, two, three, mill for four. That's free. I can decide if I want to take the life, and I don't think I do right now. And I can, next time I'll probably play Ancient Tomb to allow me to mill for 10 potentially. Oh, the Helm of Obedience, the fair way. Um, I might actually won't play that because they just they have dead fetches that they can tap, so it won't really do anything. Okay. 
But I can mill for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I can I can mill for ten right now. Doesn't put them to fourteen, so I think I, I think I'm locked now to win. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have to play like three spells to the mill me. Another beer. This is kind of funny. What a wild one to start. Someone is probably rethinking what mistake they made in life to earn this hell. Fury does like seven to them, right? Um. God, I, we keep getting these like one and two landers. They kept seven. Like, what am I hoping for aside from like Grim Monolith into Lodestone Golem? I think on the draw, I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to draw. Hopefully, they go for like a turn with Blood Moon where they don't really have a clock and we can sort of just make land drops until then. Obviously, having like a four, five, six drop is, is kind of shitty. All right, they have the Chrome Mox, obviously. All right, so Fable. Okay, it's we get to see how good this card is, I guess. On the play, I might bring in Chalice and Zero just for this. I mean, I guess we have our Sears anyway. Discarded a Blood Moon. 
See if they're going to play another one or if they have a rabble. Rabble, okay, makes sense. Be on the play this time. Uh, not much. Never. I think the cyborg is fine. I just think it's like gonna be. Oh wait, liquid metal coating. I accidentally brought in, which I did not need to do. Uh, probably have a chalice over there. Smoke stacks. I just don't think will ever matter. I think it's one of the chalices. Extra zero, like hate for the chrome box. Oh man, this is an ancient tomb away from having a pretty good hand. Damn, these hands have just been not quite good enough. These hands don't even do anything. Why these hands have been fucking terrible. Yeah, I have to keep this one, and I am not a fan of it. Like, deep, yeah, I probably get rid of this. Not a fan at all of what's happening. And these, these, these moles have been pretty fucking painful. Like, like, it's so weird. It's like just not having lands, you know? I guess I had five lands of one. Okay, Wasteland off the top would be sick. That's not terrible either. They didn't have a turn one, so getting a sphere down here should matter. Because if they could have played something, they would have. Okay. Oops. Oh, I forgot this one costs one more. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Sure. Ah, uh, socks. They obviously, they, they just top decked one of these. So whatever they play, it has to cost two. Top, that's a good draw. Damn. All right, we have a lot of, we have a, so many good ones. This isn't bad. It's like a fake time walk right now. We have the worm coil in, which would just be insane. Gear per Ori right now would be like the dream. We would actually get to see what it could do. Um, so you always want to make sure you do the fading first, so you only have to tap three. We go one, two, three. Okay. Gerber, Ori, Karn, Wormquell Engine, Walking Ballista. I mean, not like fading really matters at this point, but. Oh, that's a really bad one. <clears throat> they heard me complaining about all my lands, and here we are. We have Double Sphere. If they have a land drop, they can't really. They don't even have a land drop. Or they're still. Played it main two for some reason, maybe. The Chrome Mox for two mana. I think it was clicking things to see how much. Yeah, okay, sure. A lot of good ones, please. 
Come on, dealer. Ah, oh, so sick. Such a sick way to lose. <laughs> oh, go like 0 for 5. Now you can go like Land Rabble Master. Sure. Least scary thing on the planet. Okay. Alright, what a shitty way to lose, huh? <laughs> Just 0 for, 8, 0 for 8 on our draws. Bad beats. Yeah, Rebel, sure. Frustrating, really gonna be a frustrating way to lose. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I brought in the ensnaring bridge. I brought in the ensnaring bridge because, like, this exact situation, like, is so unlikely. I've had it happen so many times. See if they have a third fury. It'd be kind of annoying. It does cost seven, which they do have. A slow roll, lethal, fiery confluence. <laughs> okay. Jesus MTG. Two lander again. Fuck. I don't know what to do with these two landers. It's frustrating. I feel like you need so much mana to, to do stuff, you know? Another two lander. You know, I'm trying to be like disciplined and and mold to good hands, and here we are. Um probably have to get rid of Ori. Like my hand is gonna be pretty full for a little while. No sky suffer. No, there wasn't one in the list. I mean I couldn't have cast it there anyway, I don't think. I had two spheres in play with only the Grim Monolith mana. That would have only had six. So how you doing, Jared? Hope you're doing well, dude. All right, let's see if we just get wasted right away. Yeah, well, that was a dream, huh? I, I mean, Blood Moon, I, what, I guess Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Major Sun Moon was only, was the best reason Major Sun Moon is shut off their Age of Tombs, 
which were like, you know, their only mana. And obviously they get a double fury and fire confluence are like way better than what we drew. Okay, we're in there right now. I feel like, we feel like the match is probably slightly in their favor. Whatever that's worth. We're fetching a savanna off a flooded strand. Okay. There's a four color like bean list. I guess I should have tapped this instead of this. I could have just like played it out. I finally get to see how good that card is, which is nice. Let's run, just run out of Mystic Forge here. All right, we know there's an Ancient Tomb on top, which will probably exile. No reason to do it uh, sorcery speed since uh, we don't have any zeros to play anyway. We have to go like Tef now. Um, yeah, I don't think we need that. So it is going to be a bean list probably if they have binding, which is like pretty good for us if they didn't have a bean in play before they cast the binding. They're thinking about me exiling the top card, it looks like. They're letting it go, okay. Come on, friend, please. Freddy, please. <laughs> Ask priority. <laughs> Oh my god, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Doesn't look like they have red though, they probably would have gotten a Xander's Lounge at that time. It was like a Tef or something. It's not. Okay. Why do you stop some of my main face? <laughs> Alright. This is not counting enchantments, right? Because Pretty cool. So this essentially like this is, this is a quad Rashad and port here, which you gotta fucking love. Gotta love that. <laughs> gotta love that. Get the try out the monument to perfection. Imagine if I tick blast on to six. How good would that be? <laughs> blast on up to six. Give me the give me those back. Be pretty. Be pretty hot.
I'm excited about this card. This card seems insane versus control, right? Just like make land drops every turn. Sounds lovely. So we'll tap this and probably just focus, I guess. We find a smokestack, you say? Life here won't be the worst thing. Not was it just a bowmaster? Just taking a five piece. Wow. Sick. <laughs> deal you got it I had to find a player You're 17 cards in wow <laughs> did lodestone go just went the distance <laughs> sure did not <laughs> did not bank on that happening. Um <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Emrigal maybe and spy glasses. At the corn. Monument was seems like that could be really good. The bridge. Maybe a smokestack's like a tutor for one. Go with that. I think Ember Cool like is, is something you can reasonably cast. How's everyone doing on this Friday? I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves. Having a cold one. The Mets got rid of Daniel Vogelback, which is like the most amazing thing in the world. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, the deck felt great. Deck felt great. Uh, uh, yeah, I have to release it on my YouTube. I just I edited it, so I just had to put the timestamps, and it'll probably be. Maybe I'll just, I don't normally do weekends, but maybe I'll just put it in the weekend. I'm gonna keep this. We have uh, two insane four drops, actually three insane four drops, right? With land drops, so versa versa deck that doesn't really have a clock, and that's like a nice turn two play. I'm glad that we kept. Obviously, like, the, the bindings are super good, but what can you do? Well, yeah, that Powerless deck, I remember that league. The league was awesome. All right, there's the bean. We all knew it was coming. They got the bean going. Obviously, like, the best card in the deck. They just let you... Fuck, where were you? Where were you a turn ago? So we're just going to run this bad boy out of one. Stop cantrip. So it'll either get, like, a binding or a test bounce or something. But got to use our mana, you know? Yep, yep, yep. 
there's the basics. If there, we've got a binding, what the deal is. No binding, okay. Ooh, spy glasses. Probably have to just play like a four drop though. I think I'm gonna run Smokestack out as it's like the worst one, honestly. Oops. I'm just like bait with it. Next turn we can go Spyglass into four drop. Deal. Awesome. No problem here. They probably don't have a ley line binding because you probably want to do that before, yeah. Because you would bind before you force, so you. What you're doing? Double bean. All right. Double bean is going to be fucking. It would be something if we somehow uh, <laughs> do that. So, my. So, they. All right. Let's just. Start with a spyglass. Let's see what's going on over there. Yeah, they do have a binding, okay. And it would do one hundred percent binding the chalice. Uh let's just go with Teferi. And then we'll go with a lodestone, because they can't font it. So they cast a binding. Your two new cards. So they're gonna have three cards by the time their turn comes around. But now this doesn't lock the one drops. They may have drawn a plow. Next turn we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can actually go four drop, four drop, which is kind of cool. Ideally they cast a ponder here and not just a plow. Uh, Karn Silex entering tapped is the issue. Can't get Karn Reforged. This can't get Fond. It would force him to have another plow. It might just be arrowing for four mana here. A ponder. Okay. No shuffle. Looks like a plow to me. I'm unsure of what's happening here. Oh, it's a Merc Tide. Okay, they're playing Merc Tide. Interesting. Now we can actually Karn. We can Karn for Ensnaring Bridge here. Which would basically force them to have another. Yeah, let me just Karn for Ensnaring Bridge right now. I can get the Chalice back, which is kind of funny.
It's like a what is this meltdown? What's a, what's a green meltdown? Seeds of innocence. What's happening? Force of vigor hard cast on their turn. Prismatic ending for Karn. It's actually like one of the best things that could have happened, if we're being honest. Like that's that's actually like. Now we get to waste that and play the Mystic Forge without them being able to force, thanks to Lidstone. Wow, that's just like the fucking dream, huh? <laughs> How about another load stud? Uh, we're gonna, I think, activate. We don't think we need a glimmer post at this point in the game. They run prismatic ending and leyline binding. I don't know if that's common. I really wish I could have went after the black, but because of the force negation in hand, we had to go after the untapped tundra. Like, tundra was actually the land I wanted to go there after least, so it was smarter than to leave that as the untapped land. Double, double golem, though, should be a little bit of a wrench in their plans. Pernicious deed, huh? That that's gonna be uh that's not gonna be great. That's <laughs> not gonna be great. Exile. I think they want to draw the card no matter what. That's just like a card. Here, I don't. Yeah, this thing's gonna be a bitch. So I get for leaving the spyglass. Uh, yeah, bringing the boarding in the spyglasses, I guess. This is just like pay life. It doesn't do anything. I can't lattice, right? There's no way I have enough to lattice. There's four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And with double lodestone, Karn costs six. Doesn't destroy. But destroys my. So it definitely. I was going to say, I want to attack for 10, but I can't even attack right now. Well, this is the worst timeline. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I don't know if there's anything I can even do. The gardens on top won't do anything when I draw it. And if I play Karn... Alright, so now I know next time named fucking Pernicious Deed, I guess. Damn. They are going to lose their beans, but they could probably win from here. Gardens on top is not a help. Not being a help is... They just have to go land pass. Go to their next end step and see what they do. Go from there. Could I have played this eight? This would have been one, two, three, four. Five six, and then I could have seared. Yeah, she left one on the board. I'm gonna board one out. Mattered big time. Mm. They just passed the turn.
Uh, this stops that Uro, but I'm gonna die to this anyway, so it's sort of whatever. Gipper Ori is a actual magic card, huh? Hopefully they force this. Like a pseudo bait spell. I guess I can't play this now. Yeah, I guess it's only been the benefit of if I had played that. They fawn pitching ponder, okay. I mean, I guess there's no reason to play it, but there's no reason not to. I could take this up to three, I guess. Uh, we're in rough shape. Looks like they're just gonna hold up four stress that game, maybe. Yeah, pernicious dude's a hell of a drug. Card slaps. And they drew the, f the third bean in uh, 30 cards. Wild. I, I definitely would have played Uro first. Two, three. Yeah, like, you had Uro flashback Uro if you drew a land. I'm super grateful that they didn't. I mean, it's probably moot. They probably have, like, another. Oh, they drew another Murktide. Then why didn't you play that main one? You would have pumped this. Yeah, that's. Uh, they're just. They're, they're making mistakes, but it doesn't matter. They're definitely just gonna, they're gonna win here. Don't even read it, just force it. Don't even read it. <laughs> you don't even need to read it, trust me. You're gonna force it. No, nah, I can't. That's it, it's fourteen mana. I don't. I don't. I, w I won't have fourteen by next turn. See if they just have another ending. No, no cards in their hand. Do I want ley lines is a real question. Having do I want ley lines versus Murktide and so I do get to rip three cards here. First time we're doing it. We have Bowmaster also. They left in Bowmaster. Why 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 is Bowmaster? <laughs> I mean like like I was dead anyway, but like yeah, like I was I was dead, but why is this card in your deck versus the colorless deck? <laughs> Sure. Like, why do you want this in your pernicious deed deck? Okay. <laughs> that's that's a choice. All right, uh, chalices are actually kind of sus. I'm kind of uh, down with taking them out. I like leaving one bridge in, I think. Yeah, I think having the ley lines in a helm is just like more, just make them act, like answer stuff nonstop. Limit the things, I want the one in the board for sure. Smokestack, I don't think it will end up being very good versus them. Especially with with uh, the stupid Bowman. I like all these cards though. What are we cutting? I'm probably Crucible. They don't. I haven't seen Wasteland. Probably can cut one of them. Uh, 
I'm gonna keep this and just bank on us drawing, uh, you know, something. Might be a crazy idea. Let's just try to draw something. I'm gonna go for the bold line. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they could have played it on ring, sure. Sure, makes sense. But what, I wonder what they cut. That's what I'm like, I'm just confused. Like, what did they cut if they left Bowmaster in? Like, Bowmaster just seems like the easiest of all the cuts. Oh. Thank you for the follow. My alerts are not working. Again. Again. Oh. It just like isn't. Oh, that's a that's a banger. It's not really, I guess. <laughs> My hand is just all. Of course, they had a fawn. Smart of them. This will be good once I'm out of spells. Like once they go, bean and hold up four. So well, it's gonna be rough. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, I do need to stop drawing fucking lands. The deck's like two lands or ten. Nothing in between. <laughs> like, that's it. Those are your two options. Okay. Getting fond here. Oh, brainstorm, sure. Song's a banger. Hmm. I feel like my record isn't showing up. What's up with that? They probably don't have a force, which is good. Remember, always put your fading on top. The resolves first. We go one, two, three. Just home them for a fair creature. No. Got rid of the uh, prismatic ending, which is good, I guess. Except they can actually, you know, have creatures. Brainstorm, sure. Do we want this cloud post in hand? That's probably fine. Don't want that one. Ah, uh, it's okay, I guess. We're gonna run this out. I just realized I could play another land, which would like then let me trigger next turn. Or I could play another land whenever. Yeah, that card's busted as shit.
Murktide here is trouble. Yeah, Murktide's pretty much the best draw they could have. Murktide is really the only the only draw they could have. <laughs> like Bean doesn't matter. Wow, just all lands, huh? Okay. So we have a Karn. Karn can just get Ensnaring Bridge only. Probably worth it to get it though. Do the last card as a force. All right, they're doing that's amazing. That's amazing for us. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. All right, all right. Holy shit. Let's go! Guys, this is gonna add, this is gonna add so much mana. <laughs> this, this, let's uh, obviously I hand you one on the play, but fuck it, you know, we'll keep it. Like a god, it's like one of those god fucking starts on the play. It's so nice, like, you, you never have to worry about mowing the forest, like, that. Not, not in the deck, don't have to worry. Trop, you say? In there, wow. Lorraine revealed? <laughs> it's people are so funny. Oh my god, they're playing my deck! <laughs> they're playing my deck! That's so funny. Holy shit. They don't run any one drops. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man. That's so fucking funny. Creature, artifact, land. Yeah, and here's your instant. They have a red source. We're, we're pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah, Lorian revealed for Volcanic. What a... What a... The... <laughs> <laughs> Getting basic island? Oh, do you have just a goif? Okay, okay. Uh, God, I kind of have to blast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like blast on it too. I don't want to play sphere, but I'll die if I don't. Five. There's no way Blast Zone's gonna get there. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to draw an Ensnaring Bridge. So I'm just gonna run this out now. Wow, my own deck in the wild. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so funny. 
Another goif? Like, I, I've done this to people. This passing, okay. We got we got to rip something this turn, or we're dead. I mean, if they have force, we're dead regardless. And they had the force as the last card. Okay. You got it? You got it? And it pumps it to six. Brutal. Milk stack's going to be a little late. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only have seven. The sphere actually cost me here because I can't go Inventor's Fair into Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, bad beats. Deck's too good. Deck's too good. What, you know, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Damn, damn. I love to see it though, honestly. I'm like giddy. It's so funny. Um, so what do I play? I always want the thorn, like, so remembering Vigors in the collector roof. Collector roof doesn't really matter. It's so funny. Uh, these name like Architects of Will. It's not really. Those Gwyf just slap. <laughs> sure. Deck's hard to. <laughs> Deck's good, man. They have the. They're gonna have the vigors, the forces. We're gonna draw no lands. Like you know, classic. Um. All right. So the first version was Soft to Wasteland. This does run two basics now, which is so much better. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of Inventors. No, I get rid of one Wasteland. We have two Wastelands. We can get rid of one. They might even be on the. I don't know if they brought in the Blood Moon. So it'd be up to them. I don't know if I'd bring it in versus this deck. I might. But they're in my Rug version. The Rug version doesn't run days because of um, the Shardless Agent. They, they, you should never cast Once Upon a Time here. That's that's definitely like a, a beginner thing if you're new to this card. You want to wait till you untap. That's free information, whatever you're going to draw. So, like, get the free information from that card and then cast Once Upon a Time. Because once you cast Once Upon a Time, that free information comes after. So, just like a note to people who want to play the deck. Well, that would have been good in turn one, I guess. We're not in Sarenbridge here. Kept a one lander, no Lorian. Once upon a time, missed on land. That's wild. They might have Vigor here. Yeah, you, they, you always want to do it on your main. Like, now they have to tap the fetch, or they, I mean, they're going to fetch. They have to fetch a basic here. Yeah. Okay. Fine by me. Like now, now they're so 
like they're so fucked with the um with the tapping. I mean, if they really kept. This will force him to cycle now. I should bring in Leyland of the Void, maybe. It shuts off Delirium, but this version with Charlus is a little less susceptible. So. You know, to each your own. We'll play Chalice and Zero. Stop those rhinos. They have a force. Okay. Inevitable betrayal. Don't that's a that's a bad that's a really, really bad decision. Like rhinos slap. Like like inevitable betrayal is for literally like reanimator, show and tell and post. Like like that's it. Like you really don't want to bring in bring in anything else. So I want this. I think I want to get the wasteland back. I guess they have a vigor. It gives me more permanence for the tangle wire as well. And they're four they had triple force in hand, huh? Sure. They I wonder what they kept. I'm very really curious. They're, they're, I'm trying to talk to them in chat, but they don't want to talk. I mean they say right, but I was like, hey, you're playing my deck and just ignore me. Yeah, they did have Vigor as well, I'm sure. Right, one card in hand. Might be Marauder. I mean, what could they get? They can get a Worm Coil Engine, I guess, actually. I did board in a Worm Coil Engine, which if we go to Game 3, I will side out. Yeah, it looks like they have it. Damn. They're going to get my Worm Coil Engine. They might win. I mean, if it was Rhinos, they would win anyway. <laughs> like, if, like, you know, like, so it doesn't really, doesn't super matter. And then we'll see how they boarded. Yeah, they brought in the, they did bring in Blood Moons, like I thought they might. Um, But we may lose to the, they had triple force, so we'll force a vigor. Definitely could lose to that. But yeah, like I said, rhinos would rhinos would just win. Yeah, but they go for the worm curl engine. It makes total sense. Uh, is it worth taking two damage to untap this? I think so because I may need to inventor's fair something. Not what I wanted. Uh, if I go inventor's fair. The, the, this is a shutoff inventor's fair the following turn. But now I don't have to wasteland them. Yeah, so so this is this isn't so bad. I mean I, I think I still will, but Oh wait, hold on. D did I use my only ensnaring bridge in the main deck? Oh I did. I only I don't have another ensnaring bridge to get. Mm. I'm gonna have four minutes to cast something. Yeah, I needed the inst oh no, t Tangle Wire. Tangle Wire will let me survive. Let's say drew fourth force of will. They drew four forces. All right, didn't none of their decisions matter? <laughs> they drew four force of wills and a force of vigor. <laughs> Just deck is too broken. One land Vesuva. How 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 great is that? One land Vesuva. Huh.
two land two lands, but the, I mean I have to keep it. Um Oh no, if it's lands, we're just fucking dead. Well, that's not zero. Might seem weird. Like, I'm never playing it on one. Like, I'm doing this on turn two. I'm gonna try to activate it on turn three. Like, I'm just never playing this fucking. Like, I'm never gonna do anything. God, you appeared in my deck fucking twice, and I chalice on zero this time. <laughs> chalice on zero, but this goyf is just gonna slap me to death, isn't it? <laughs> Face my deck twice in a row. That's so sick. God, that's so sick. Honestly, can't beat this deck. The deck's too good. Facing it twice in a row is just like. Double Goyf? No! What the fuck? Definitely just running this out to trade. Unless they top deck Force Will. Okay. Trying to remain calm. Now this deck is too good. Why did I create this? No. Why did I create such a monster? Now this tangle wire doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five mana. They have 13. Deck, I just can't beat this deck. Can't beat my own deck. The deck's too good. Like, what the fuck do you want me to say? Like, <laughs> just... Just Goyf. Goyf. Goyf is a 5-6 in the deck. It's just a 2-mana 5-6 and it just slaps you to death. Like, it's... It's... <laughs> there's nothing else to be done. It just kills me. Oh my god. <laughs> so funny. Oh man. Are they gonna bribery my work girl too? Fuck, it doesn't matter. So ridiculous. Next too good. It's just, it's perfect. Like, I right, what, what do you want me to do? I mean, glass looks <laughs> glass does the Hulk was just too good. So that opponent was two and two, and the one previous was one zero. Oh, so. I created another version with Drown in the Lock as an option as well. All right, they're finally ready, okay. Okay. 
Viv opponent actually respond. Yeah, they saw it on uh, Twitter. And they're going to try to take it to a big event next week. So, cool. Hope they crush it. Viv just slapping the shit out of me, though. Just... Yeah, and this version being resilient to wasteland, like the first version, you could like waste out of the game with the four colors. The rug version is just just having those two basics is such a big deal with the Lorians and two to the island as well. Like, you use such red the turn you play Blood Braid and you don't need it like any other time, or the turn you play Blood Moon. See, so this is gonna be like a, okay, it's giving us a chance. Awesome incubation, sure. See what they get, An architect. Okay. We're definitely gonna try to waste them here. That's like, if they're not fetching basics, that's super, super good for us. All right, so, and Taiga can't cycle Architect of Will. They can cycle Lorian Reveal to find the island to cycle Architect. They're not, okay, great. Like, all right, so hopefully this one's the game. And then next turn, we'll, yep, cool. That fetching, that fetching a, a duel there was a little greedy, I think. And you want ley lines? I don't think so. You just want these. You also have like Charlotte's that could hit your cascade, so you have ley lines for no reason. We can make Gorse big on our own because of what we have, so. Oh man, so funny to face it twice though. It really is so funny. Right, they can't look at this. We have it. We have the nuts keep, so we could just have a turn to worm coil engine the fairway. They can cycle, and they get, one thing I remember with this deck that they, they're playing is, like, you could cycle Architects of Will, wait till your next turn, draw a card, and then if it's, um, once upon a time, still cycle. I've done things like suspend my, uh, I've suspended Crashing Footfall, cycled, like, three cards, and then, um, they do have a force will, okay. Which is it's gonna be really hard to beat. Like we we drew land, so don't have another goif. Oh, they have four types. No, let's see if they went with. See what they went with. They went with betrayal. So I'm gonna concede, making them think that that's good. We'll just 